there, Nova Scotia. Welcome back to Colorful Creations. Um, I was um, given a challenge to do a flip cup with certain colors. Um, I have, it is red, yellow, um, blue, green, and I can use black or white. So I have a few of them there. Um, I'm gonna do it on a 20 by 24 canvas. No, sorry, this is 24 by 30. It's pretty big. Um, and I'm gonna spin it out. And I have a brand new spinner, super pumped. I actually got it a couple weeks ago, but I was away and didn't get a chance to use it yet. So today is gonna be the day. I think I might just leave the, the plastic on that. Comes with all these books that I don't need. Save all these though, they might come in handy or something. Ooh. That's quite a heavy duty blade, I think. But it's like a little alloy and it doesn't make any sound, so I don't have to mute it now. That's pretty awesome. It's a little bigger than the one I had before. I don't think this is going to sit. No. So I have, it's actually a cutting board. It still has the plastic on it. A friend gave it to me for helping her move. So I'll sit that on top of there and then put my canvas on top of that. And it's good and sturdy. That's really good. I think you can see the whole thing. I might move the camera back a little bit. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna show you my colors. Put on a paper towel here. I had them all in squeeze bottles. These are all mixed how I normally mix them, except that I ran out of glue, so I just doubled up on my Floetrol. And there's a couple that were previously mixed, and, but most of them are this, I guess, new recipe. If it's awesome, I will definitely make a video on how to mix it because it was pretty easy. I didn't have to add water to hardly any of them. So that was white from Titanium, sorry, Titanium White by Montmartre. This is black by Montmartre. Uh, medium yellow, and this is by Meaden. Meaden, I think that's how you say it. I have Cerulean Blue by Montmart, and I added a little bit of an iridescent medium to this. I think this is the one, yes. This was previously mixed, so this has my, my old recipe. Uh, this is a previously mixed one too. It's a uh, Ultramarine blue by Montmart, and I had some metallic blue by Sergeant Art, and I just mixed them together because I wanted more and I want to use up some stuff. Uh, this one was previously mixed as well. It's Thalo Green by Montmart. I like it, it's really pretty, I think. Um, this one is Aqua Green by Montmart. This was previously mixed as well. And you know, I think I actually added a little bit of metallic green to this one. It was already in the metallic green is by the sun, um, Sergeant Art. Uh, we have red, brilliant red by Montmart. This is with the new mix. Pebeo iridescent blue green. This was previously mixed. I love this one. It is so pretty. It's all shimmery and nice. I hope, I don't, I hope it doesn't all sink. And the last one is Artist Loft, Artist Loft Cobalt or Metallic Cobalt Blue. And that's mixed with my new mix. It's, there's no glue in that one. So there's all the colors. I'm gonna try these, make these work, and some came through, but that's okay. So I'm gonna do a um, flip cup, like a bunch of them. I'm not going to put the same colors in each cup because I want some variety, but I'm going to do my cups. I think I'll do all the cups first. I think I'm going to move the canvas for now. All right, so I just realized my camera wasn't even recording when I got all my cups ready, but that's okay. It was really boring anyway. I just layered a bunch of cups here, just kind of all different. I mean, I kind of had a little bit of a, a plan for certain colors to keep them even throughout, but other than that, it was pretty random. I have 
all those ready to go. Pretty random. Cover it black first. Okay, so I'm gonna start putting these cups on here. And we'll hope for the best. bubbles here and I'm trying to pop. I'm trying to burn my cups. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. all these together to put them up like this. There's lots. I want to spread this out really well, so I'm going to add some more black to the places that look really like they're kind of dry. These empty ones. Again, I'm trying not to burn my cups. They are styrofoam. Alright, I don't know. We'll see. Put this a spin. That didn't go as planned. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, let's see. Well, I guess it's not too bad. It didn't land right upside down. These lines kind of add character to it, I think. I'll just tilt it and keep going. color up in this corner, but I don't want to lose this nice bright spot here. Although I could add another bit of color here, of the yellow and stuff right there. Expecting it to fly off the table either. So, 
Um, I'm lucky to end it upside down and completely destroy it. I'm going to give it a little torch here. I'm going to try to take the board out. The camera to actually turn. I'm just going to take a popsicle stick and run underneath the edges to get rid of the excess paint. I always make sure my cups are a little bit inside the edge so the paint can run off the end. And I gotta touch up my corners here a little bit. Just gonna use some paint from the table. Put some kind of bare spots along here. You just see some kind of bare spots here, so I'm just gonna fill them in. You kinda gotta get the excess off so it doesn't just dry into drops for one, and also it'll, it'll keep pulling the paint off the top. So you'll end up, your painting could be completely different the next day because it just keeps running. Okay, let's have a look. This turned out really abstract looking. It's pretty different. It wasn't what I was expecting, but like I wasn't expecting it to fly off the table. The spinner is awesome. I'm not gonna give it a bad review. It was just how fast I spun it. But um, I like how it goes and goes and goes forever and doesn't make any sound. So that's pretty cool. So I'm just going to, um, I think I could do a pretty good comparison of, of the two paint mixtures, of the um, pore media mixtures I have. So I'm definitely getting more cells in the ones with just flow draw. Well, there's Liquidex pore medium in there too, but the ones without glue, like the... The red, yellow, black, white, most of them, a lot of the blues, I think, were previously mixed. So, like, you see there's less cells in there. And then I got a ton in the other colors, the ones with red and yellow. So that's kind of cool. And it was easier to mix, too. I really like this, this part. It's really easy to mix because most of them didn't even require water. Um, I think the only one that I had to add water to, like the Montmartre didn't need water, the only one was the um, cobalt blue. You see some of that uh, kind of along the edges here. Anyway, I will, um, I'll show you from the other side. Get a different angle. Sometimes it's completely different when you look at the other side. So let me know what you think. I will have this on my website actually for sale if anybody wants to purchase it. And I'll hang it on my wall until then because I think it's pretty cool. It's really colorful and abstract really abstract so let me know what angle you like better too like this way or or this way they're both pretty neat all right so i will be back in a few days and i'll let you see it when it's dry i'll see you then all right here we are it is dry there's no resin or clear coat or anything on this yet some resin or something will really make these pop especially the black that will really liven up i just want to show you while it's dry um so i'm really happy with this i really like how the colors are it's random um it's like splotches of colors but they kind of all pull together you kind of got even like you got you know even amounts of blue throughout even red like it kind of all pulls together i mean i kind of plan them out a little bit and if anyone's interested, I can I can show you how I do that to use like a huge color palette and then have multiple flip cups and have like your colors kind of all pulled together. If if anyone wants to wants that, I will do a little tutorial on that. Um, let me know what you think of these colors. Um, it was a a um, a challenge that someone um, challenged me to on Facebook to use um, red, yellow green and blue and black and white so I kind of added some other shades of those in there to make it give it some more variety so like I said this will be on my website for anyone who would like to purchase it but until then I will definitely be enjoying this in my own home thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video